Do you want to make money reselling Pokemon card singles? Well, let me show you how with the cards in this box. Specifically, this is something you don't want to miss. So as a reseller, I'm going to show you my little tips and tricks or something that hopefully might inspire, motivate you to actually try to make money, profit, hopefully a side hustle, uh, making a living reselling Pokemon cards. So in this video, we're going to show you how to do that. So let's go. Before I show you how to make money with the singles in this box, like and sub to the channel. It does inspire, motivate me to continue making videos on YouTube every week. I do appreciate every like, view, and new subscriber on my channel every day. So yes, like and sub if you're enjoying my content. Now let's see what's in this box. All right, guys, so I'm excited. I'm not going to show you the shipping label. As you guys can see, it is still completely sealed. Uh, but the shipping label, I don't want to give all that information. But this came from TCG Player. Yes, TCG Player. We bought two single cards uh, to flip online. So we bought it from TCG Player. And we're going to sell this. What? On Amazon. <laughs> yes. So a little background about myself. I am a reseller. I just don't resell pokemon stuff okay i do a lot more than just pokemon cards uh but so there is a lot of uh how can i say it uh a lot of tips i can figure out to know if a pokemon card single or seal product is profitable uh later down the road so um, i'm gonna tell you i did a lot of research and i wanted to make some kind of youtube video of reselling pokemon card singles and this is gonna be a start on my channel if you're interested to make some type of money profit and have some kind of little financial freedom uh, and hopefully build something or get you guys motivated to do this so uh disclosure guys there is more into reselling on amazon there's fees there's memberships and all that goody goody stuff but i'm gonna just get you hyped up the fun stuff you know finding something that is profit uh, profitable and you can flip it online so yes let's get into this man we got this from tcg player again this is uh this is fresh i haven't checked so we might be surprised these might be fakes i have never uh i have never bought on tcg player i usually buy my singles from ebay so now i'm switching and trying to find another source of income uh or inventory from uh yeah other store so here it is here's the i mean that's that's gonna be the invoice but this it is here it goes there should be two of them and i like how they package this up yes obsidian flames guys hyper rare charizard ex you wouldn't have noticed that you already know about obsidian flames we got two of these and it does look legit um but we need to open this up and really take a look at it and see hopefully that these cards are in good shape all right so the i could tell you that here's the first one really off center in the back i like the edges you could tell this was a fresh pull this uh charizard ex but the texture looks on point uh again we do have one of these already here but that's that's a charizard ex that i did pull from opening obsidian flames uh but we're not selling that we're keeping those i just wanted to show how uh a, a reseller or a simple person an average person can do this so we bought this on tcg player we bought two of them and um yeah so i just want to show you the cards before we go into the uh browser and I'm going to show you why this is going to be profitable. But yes, I got to double check and make sure that it is, it is real. <laughs> so I never bought on TCG Player. I always buy on eBay. Uh, you can see a little damage on this one. So, But then again, it's near mint. They sold it as near mint. And I can tell you that it's weird how this... Um, we need to, We need to take this out. okay it's the it's the it's the actual sleeve i have to i have to inspect that's the first thing you need to do because you can get a return uh you guys can see it is a hyper rare it, you can see the texture this car looks really good it's just a little bit off centered so let's go ahead and put that back but you can see the type of sleeve they had in this it's not bad it's just very hard the, I, I i'm not a big fan of the sleeve where can't really inspect the back of the car but this is a really good condition card 
so i have never tried to grade psa so we might have the opportunity in this youtube channel to actually grade some cards but yeah you gotta inspect this guys so it does look legit so anyways <laughs> that's that tcg player guys well, let me show you how much we got this for uh let me switch you guys to the browser okay so um here is the order history as you guys can see this is my first time actually buying from tcg player but you can do this with everything i'm gonna go ahead and uh blur out all the personal information but the best uh the thing you have to see is that this is very recent uh we got this from um june 6 and what i need to do is move this obs to the top and i'll blur out all the personal information i want to be able to highlight so you guys can see all right so we got this on june 6 uh we ordered two of them uh, two each one was like i think it was like 1998 so it came out to 39 got the tax for 43.44 so it came out to be each card 21 dollars and 72 cents so remember that 21 dollars and 72 cents all right so let's see what is the market already on this card and i should have clicked that i already have the tab open all right so it did take a little this was very recent so i'm gonna go for a month it's on the rise right now so the demand is high the supply is becoming very low so people that are holding resellers that are holding are are doing the the great doing a great job right now because <laughs> that's what you want to be a reseller that holds and knowing that you can make profit in one or two weeks so this is one month one month so if you bought this already for 1780 uh, 17 dollars and 84 cents then that that is a three dollar change in a span of two weeks so keep that in mind now i'm gonna be honest with you i do not use this graph this graph just tells me the price action of what's happening with the car tcg player is a great platform in information to know the direction of a single that's going on here in america in the western world you got to remember tcg player is usually mostly uh price action for the western country united states so anyways yes so we see an inc increase of this so now you got to keep the uh, uh keep that that there's an incline on the price action and i'm going to show you guys the price act i don't look at this i don't look at this chart i'm going to show you a different uh software that i use as a reseller because i resell so many different things so here it is let's go on amazon real quick here is the listing all right uh this is the same exact listing on amazon now amazon to me guys is going to be king when it comes to reselling there's no way to beat amazon uh when it comes to pokemon cars tcg player hands down is the best is the best even though it was bought by ebay so ebay and tcg player is the best platform when it comes to collectible cars but amazon is not but there is always consumers on amazon looking for pokemon cards okay guys there's people that trust amazon's platform customer satisfactory is always amazon's uh business system so you guys have to understand that all right so this right now the buy box and i'm not going to explain all this stuff i just want to show you you can make profit the buy box right now is 33 dollars and 75 cents you can see this has sold 100 i don't know i don't really see this as a accurate number but it says 100 plus bought in the past month if that's so that's really good if you see that i use that just a little uh efficiency way to know that a card is selling and then i look into this this is called keepa all right this graph is called keepa this is the main software that a lot of amazon resellers use to find profitable products to sell on amazon so they look everywhere else bring it source it and then they bring it to amazon and it makes some money i'm not gonna explain a lot about how to use keepa that'll probably be on a separate video i'm just gonna, i'm just i just want to show you uh my first video this is how i make money okay i, I took something from tcg player and i sold it on amazon so uh Pretty much i bought something very low and i'm selling it somewhere else high that's pretty much it buy low sell high and make sure supply and demand meets your criteria as a profitable product okay that's all you need to know nothing else is pretty simple man so anyways let's look into the keep a chart all right we're gonna look at a three month span we can go all the way out 
All right, the buy box, which is this number, the 3375, you can see it used to be $80, guys. All right, $80. Well, first off, let's not look at that yet. Let's look right here. It says 58 drops a month. That means the sales rank, which is very important, the sales rank shows how very popular this listing is to a consumer if consumers are actually buying this product if a consumer is buying from this listing the sale ranks goes even lower the closest to zero it is the better selling product it is okay hopefully that makes sense so that's what sales rank so 58 drops of the sales rank which is this green you see on the top chart you can see how it's steadily becoming more uh and uh more in the favor of customers okay it's selling this like crazy and it sells about 58 drops i mean it's about 58 times a month so that's why i don't really look at that hundred uh right here i don't know why i mean it's a good way to say that oh yeah it's selling so let's go actually look at the drop now this is a um extension of keepa which is integrated into amazon so you can see it more efficiently we as resellers want to be very efficient when it comes to finding a profitable product and this is how it is this is how i have myself set up and i look at this chart and i see the supply and demand and i say oh i can make a profit okay so here it is you can see the price used to be when it first was released about 80 80 dollars about 80 dollars then now it is at the point at you can see it was at like $30 and it jumped up a little bit. So that to me indicates that price is about to increase. Remember, so all these other sellers right here are pretty much holding. Okay. Or you can see some sellers sold off. Now some sellers came back on. This is what this blue line right here is. Let me expand a little bit. So that means these sellers right here sold out. That's why it declined. And then some sellers came back and so the price was driven down low hopefully it's making sense i'm not going to explain too much now knowing that this sold for the buy box at like around 33 i can say that this is selling for 34 dollars let's look into the data tab right here and look at the offers this shows me a lot more of uh variables to consider if this is a good listing a good product to find and source to sell on amazon all right, so it's going to go from the lowest price and then all the way down further. It will show you uh, the other sellers. You can, Now, the best thing, uh, the first thing I actually look at, guys, is the stock total. This is a very low competition listing. That means that the sellers don't have a lot of this card in stock. Now, probably after this video, you might guys try to buy and try to sell it on Amazon. <laughs> I don't know. If it inspires you, I'm, I'm glad, you know, but this is how I make some type of living uh, on next to my eight hour job. OK, guys. So thirty three dollars and seventy four cents. Um, that's really good. And we bought this for how much? Twenty one dollars and seventy two cents. Yeah. Twenty one dollars and seventy two cents. Now, um, I don't know if I can actually show you this calculator. Let me double check on OBS. All right, guys, so please keep in mind that $21.72, that's our inventory cost for one of those cards. Uh, we're going to try to sell this on Amazon for $33.74. That's the uh, lowest listing currently right now on Amazon for this card, $33.74. All right, so I'm glad I can do this with the calculator and show you guys and uh, over the transaction fees, everything. So $33.74, uh, Amazon fee, they're gonna take uh, a 15% cut. So we're gonna times this by 0.15. It's gonna be $5.06. Now the shipping expense, uh, usually this is gonna be about $4. $3.50 to $4. Uh, it's gonna be USPS ground advantage, less than one pound. On eBay and CCG player, you can ship it with that standard envelope, which is about 88 cents which is really really cheap but amazon wants customers to have a good way to track on a daily basis where their shipping order is coming from or when it's going to be delivered so that's why they only use ground advantage as the cheapest source when you're tr uh, trying to ship something less than one pound so it's going to be about four dollars so we're going to add four dollars to this it comes to be nine dollars and six cents now when it comes to the shipping uh supplies the supplies expenses uh which will be your eight by six that's what i use eight by six 
uh, by 0.1 millimeter uh, rigid envelope plus the top loader and the penny sleeve that's going to be about 50 cents i think it's about 51 cents on average so we're going to add 0.50 to this is going to be about nine dollars and 56 cents all right so now we're going to minus all those fees um from the total sales price that we're going to sell this hopefully the potential sales price which is 33 dollars and 74 cents um as you guys can see it's going to be about 24 dollars and 18 cents so $24.18, we need to source somewhere, somewhere a place to buy this card less than $24.18 to break even or make a profit. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Again, we bought each single card for $21.72. We can make a potential profit right now, $2.46. Yes, it's not the biggest return, but please note, you can hold on this because from a lot of other variables from our keepa chart uh let's go ahead and show you that real quick so on our keepa chart we saw that the price history on our keepa chart is declining and then is stabilizing i love this chart better than tcg player because there's so much the sales rank the buy box the offer count the reviews how much is selling how much the drops every single month the inv total inventory on this listing is this a good product to sell on amazon it shows it all it checks marks it all uh that this tells me right now that the price just dipped to the low as 29 dollars and now is popping up to 38 dollars going back to 35 and i wouldn't doubt that this is going to go back up we want to see the seller the blue little lines right here the sellers offer count go down more if this goes down more that means the supply is very low and it's very hard to find and sellers are not hopping onto that so when the supply is very low and the demand is very high a lot of a lot of sellers are gonna upscale the price which you're gonna see the buy box price skyrocket more you're gonna see an increase like how you see on tcg player all right so i put this chart plus this chart in hand and it's telling me that it's stabilizing right now on amazon and i think that this is going to go up so what does that mean you can see the inventory is 29 is very low low competition low inventory low supply this is going to definitely set all these other sellers you see seven one 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 these are all going to sell out sometime soon in the, uh, the next month uh i would like to see i usually try to find the next seller with a more supplies than i just pretty much uh decrease my price so i can win the buy box before him so right here is four in stock by this seller he's selling it for 37 dollars and 99 cents so we're gonna uh pretty much set our sales price for 37 dollars and 95 cents to win what the buy box that's what we want to win that's what this rectangle we want to win this so us customers uh you customers consumers can just go ahead and click add card and buy it right away all right so again 30 37 dollars and 99 cents so let's go through the calculator and calculate our fees when we're holding this for a little bit uh we did say uh we're gonna try to sell each car for 37 dollars and 95 cents there you go and times it by 0 0.15 15 15 we're gonna add the shipping costs which is about four dollars the supplies which is about 0 0.51 cents it's going to be about ten dollars and twenty cents that we need to deduct from the sales price that we sold it to the customer if it does sell potential so ten dollars and twenty cents so we minus this from 37.95 27.75 so 27 dollars and 75 cents is going back to us we need to find uh a reliable source to find this the charizard charizard ex <laughs> hyper rare less than 27 dollars and 75 cents to make some kind of profit or break even so again we bought this card for each card 21 dollars and 72 cents we can make a profit of what six dollars selling one of these cards that's a total of what twelve dollars in profit with both of these cards and it's very easy to sell these because i went through all the variables it does sell the drops 
uh the sales rank is good on amazon these are gonna sell so all yeah all i have to do is just hold off to sell it for 37.95 hopefully or we'll later see see it down the road man that's part of reselling man you can sell it right away or you can hold it for a little bit to sell a little bit higher so that's what we're gonna do but we got to make sure that all the variables that i did show you on the keep a chart does match check mark and it shows that this is going to be a profitable product all right guys so yeah i'm hoping you guys actually enjoy that that's how i actually make money on the side uh plus my eight hour job and it does help me to live and you know supply a uh live a uh, my, my my family a financial freedom to do whatever stuff we want to do entertainment wise so i do this and i'm hoping i could continue doing on youtube and showing inspire other people like you if you're a reseller or just a collector trying to get into the reselling world or investing world on pokemon cards please note guys i just don't do pokemon cards i do a lot more and i i i've been doing this for seven years so <laughs> please take my tips and tricks and if you guys do enjoy this or you want me to go through something that you're not familiar with on a separate video go really in detail with keepa really in detail how to set up amazon the fees or on it just just comment on the video i do like to read my comments and reply to them uh i really do appreciate it man so yeah uh i'm gonna show you another one on a different video it's gonna be astro radiance there is something profitable product that i found too on that one and i'm gonna show you all the keeper charts and stuff like that so yeah tune in to that video as well but you gotta like and sub first you gotta like and sub to this channel so all right guys i will see you on the next video i'm hoping you enjoy this man yes